this is Sydney, Australia. I'm Steve Wheeler and I'm here today to talk to you about wikis. I first became aware of wikis when I was uh, speaking at a conference here actually in Australia and uh, the conference organisers had actually put together a wiki to allow delegates to share content with each other about the conference, to ask questions and to uh, share useful links that they would find interesting and maybe the rest of the community would also find interesting. So that was my first exposure to a wiki. Uh, wikis were devised originally by a man called Ward Cunningham and it was really a part of the movement to democratise content, to make the web more participatory, uh, as Eugene Barsky calls it, the architecture of participation. Now, the idea behind the wiki was that it would be an open space where anybody could develop and, and create content and edit content and share it with anybody else. Uh, so the movement, which we then knew as Web 2.0, which we now call the social web or social media, started, I suppose, with things like wikis. Now the word wiki comes from the Hawaiian word wiki wiki which means rapid and really wikis are, are actually quite rapid and easy to set up. They're very very quick to uh, create and in effect they can become a bit like a digital learning environment for students uh, to share their content with each other and to ask questions and to discuss things and to uh, share media and so on. They're quite um, amazing to use once students actually get to grips with them. Now, wikis are a bit like this botanical garden here in Sydney. Um, you can either leave them be or tend to them. If you leave them be, then one of two things might happen. Either the wiki might die or never get off the ground in the first place, or if it does, it might grow wild. Now, you see, wikis are open, they're um, easy to use, and the problem is when people find that they're open and easy to use, they might post anything, any rubbish up onto the site. So you have to be a gardener. You have to take the part of the gardener and actually, in your case, be a moderator. Now just because wikis are easy to set up, don't assume that they're easy to get students to use. Some students are reluctant, others are quite fearful. Maybe it's lack of confidence, maybe it's unfamiliarity with the format, but you have to try and persuade students to take part and that means you have to formulate some ideas. So here's one idea for you. How about you ask students to set up a little space for themselves where they put a picture that represents them, where they talk about uh, their likes and their dislikes, where they talk about what they want to get out of the course. And here's another idea. Later on, maybe you could ask them to do some gold mining. Set up a gold mine page which allows them to post up content which they find really useful. Ask them to annotate it and say what they feel about it and why it's important to them and how it can be useful to the rest of the course members. One of the biggest problems I find with wikis is that once you do get students contributing to the space, uh, they feel like they own it. And of course, the problem is they don't, because once you post content to a wiki, it no longer becomes just your ownership, your property, it becomes the property of the whole community. So they have to get used to that idea. They have to get used to the idea that it's a shared responsibility and that everybody can post content to the wiki. It's democratization of content, democratization of knowledge. That's all from here. See you next time.